Thank you. Welcome everyone. Uh, today our session on uh, network management system. Uh, before going to uh, the theory session, I need some software to download. So uh, it's a bigger site. That's why uh, I, at first I want to start that download the software and start the session. So uh, last week, uh, uh, some of uh, you are requested me to show how to configure the network topology in GNS3 lab. So today I want to show you how to configure a network topology lab in GNS3. Uh, to do that, uh, you have to download uh, the GNS3 software. Uh, to that, uh, to do that, uh, you have to go uh, the GNS3 website. You just starts with GNS3 download. And you may found the GNS3 software uh, main website is gns3.com. And this download link uh, ship you to uh, the download page. So based on your operating system, you have to download the version. I'm using a uh, Microsoft Windows. That's why I have to download a uh, Windows version. Uh, now the latest version is 2.2.34. So click on download. So to do that, you have to log in. Either you have to create an account in GNS3. It's a requirement for the download of the software. So I have already account in GNS3. I log in. So I log in and now I am able to download this software. I save it in a uh, desktop, the uh, GNS3 2.2.34 uh, all in one regular version. So click save. Uh, this is not much solar size, only a 93 megabyte. But you have to download another thing uh, that is called actually the GNS3 VM. So that is actually the bigger size. So you have to download for uh, the VMware workstation and fusion because I run in the VMware uh, workstation. Uh, that's why you have to download a GNS3 VM for the VMware workstation. So click on download. Uh, this one I also want to save in uh, desktop. This is a zip file. And this is 1.5 gigabyte the size of this software. So it's required some time to finish download. Now I'm talking about uh, some theoretical topics uh, regarding network management system. So what is the network management? Network management actually the consist of the process of configuring, monitoring, and ma ma maintaining a re reliable network. To ensuring connectivity in the, uh, between a device and the people or the software application that actually used by the user. So network management involves uh, the provisioning, configuring, configuration, security, and measurement practices. Uh, that's the network operation team used to build and sustain efficiency across their company network infrastructure. So the importance of the network management is yeah, minimize the costly network disruption. Uh, that means uh, when you uh, involve uh, uh, many manpower in operating a, a simple network, uh, this, uh, this is actually costly for any network uh, service provider. So a optimized uh, network management and monitoring system can minimize the cost and reduce the cost for the op operation, network operation, and it's improved the productivity of network. 
and improve the security of the network because it's time to time monitoring all the aspect uh, in the network and it's provide a holistic view of a network performance actually and how does we can uh, do manage a network uh, it's consist of uh, network administration uh, this part involve uh, the designing and uh, implementation of a network uh, network operation involved actually day to day uh, the activity of a uh, service provider network or a campus network and network maintenance uh, involved with a uh, device goes down or uh, action we can uh, take in that time and network provisioning actually uh, contains uh, I, we need when we need uh, add a new node new devices in the existing network and the network security involved uh, to ensure the security of the network configuration network design and data travel through the network and finally the automation uh, this is actually some automation combination of some automation tools that automatically configured network automatically uh, monitor the network and reporting time to time and there are has many challenges uh, first one is complexity complexity of design complexity of implementation complexity uh, of many things for the maintaining a network uh, second thing in uh, different type of security threat uh, we know uh, we have various security threat in a, a personal network like DDoS, uh, DDoS attack, any others attack like uh, password cracking attack, SSH attack, and many attack always happen in the network. And uh, for the user expectation, uh, always uh, meet the user expectation is very 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 much challenging user always expect a good quality of network services from the service provider and we are the service provider we have to maintain a uh, time to time the operation of the network and finally the cost of the network this is one of the uh, main cha challenging part because uh, uh, when we want to ensure the uh, very good quality of uh, network services uh, the cost always goes high because we have to install a good devices we have to uh, connecting through a latest modern technology like fiber optic connection and that is also cost cost effective solution and finally find the right network management tools so it's depend being on the uh, choose of tools actually you getting result for your network management and monitoring so a good tools uh, obviously provide a optimized solution uh, for the network monitoring and management and i already showed you some tools and i also i i will also show you some other tools for the network management like uh, configuration management network documentation by the uh, monitoring and management tools so uh, some benefit for the network management services are like uh, cost control uh, increase uh, efficiency and reduce the, the downtime and increase uh, the flexibility and technology actually used uh, for the uh, network operation uh, and maintenance uh, at first, uh, already I told about the simple network management uh, protocol SNMP. That that's protocol actually widely used for monitoring purpose. But uh, some other technology also available like command line interface, custom XML, uh, the common management information protocol CMIP. Uh, that is also used for the network monitoring and management. Windows management. Uh, in instrumentation wmi uh, that is used by windows system and uh, transaction language one tl tl1 and the common object request uh, broker architecture cobra that is also a, a network protocol for monitoring management 
and the network configuration protocol uh, netcon that is actually used for the configuring uh, network devices uh, as well as uh, the java management extension that is particularly used for the java based application um, that is also a schema include uh, structure management information smi uh, w beam and the common information model cim schema and mtosi and others so this is the technology uh, used by the different type of tools uh, for the monitoring and management purpose um, and that's it for the theoretical part uh, because i need uh, today i need some more time to show you uh, the configuring uh, the network topology that was actually part of the uh, network design uh, but I show you because you need it uh, to practicing in your own home lab. Now I see the status of the download. Oh. check if i had any other version previous version then i start with that version actually i have 2.2.16 So I will give uh, the all software link uh, because you need a VMR workstation. I have it and I have also the serial number, but I give you only for the study purpose, uh, not for use in production purpose, uh, because I will not take any uh, responsibility for use this because it's a paid software. So I at first i uninstall the gns3 and gns3 uh, vm from my computer so to do that this is uh, the gns3 vm currently using in my network topology so and I uninstall So this version actually installed with my system. Now I uninstall this. No, I know don't need uh, the configuration. So it's successfully uninstalled from my system. But I have to wait some time because uh, finish it. Either uh, I have to start with uh, the backdated software. I had the version uh, 2.2 uh, 16 and right now it's 34. So I have very older version. I hope it will uh, complete within 10 minutes. So better I wait sometime. If it will not complete within 10 minutes, then I will go with uh, the older version.
uh, in the meantime if you have any question uh, then feel free to ask me i'm writing the chat box i'll try to answer all the question I, I will already said about that uh, on the session zeta uh, zeta actually the standard deviation of uh, rtt uh what is the standard value of jitter uh that is actually depend on uh, the quality of your network it's a lower value is always better um larger value it's uh, measured by the millisecond i share with uh, the document So don't worry about the slide you missed. I, I give you the full presentation. Oh, it's required uh, more time. So it's better uh, start with the older version. So at first, I have to install uh, the GNS3 software. Uh, this is all in world regular. So it's very similar uh, to it like other Windows application. Just double click on it and click next. I agree, next. And please uh, don't check it. GNS3 VM, then uh, it will start uh, this by the uh, time of the installation because I separately download it and connect. I will show you how to connect the GNS3 VM. So uh, you don't need to check it. You just uh, click uh, GNS3 desktop and other thing by default uh, check and click on next. Uh, you may uh, expand the tools. So many tools will be installed with uh, the software click next next
so it will download and install some other tool uh, other tool like OSX. Uh, I, I already have the downloaded version. I show you how to download from the website. Now I am installing from my, my downloaded version. This is not for the time delaying. This is for how to download by you people. And this was also installed and a topology was also created. But some of you requested me to show how to create this topology and install the virtual devices to make a network, uh, uh, virtual network to monitor and management purpose. Because packet tracer device is not able to monitor uh, by the uh, out, out of the packet tracer software. And GNS3 actually run the full version of uh, the router devices, switches devices uh, by the different type of vendor like Cisco, Juniper, Microtech, uh, Portigate. So if you want to test anything uh, by from your own lab, home lab, then you have to choose either a uh, GNS3 or EVNG. This is actually the professional tools for learning networking. GNS3 is a essential level tools. Uh, this is for the uh, beginner, beginner. But if you want to become a professional, you have to use some professional tools like GNS3 and EVNG because it support uh, the other devices also. Packet tracer is only for the Cisco devices. And this is like a simulator and GNS3 actually load uh, the router operating system inside uh, the GNS3.
Yes, click next. And check more because I don't need it. It's want to install solar wind standard tool set. Uh, I'm take by start TNS3. Oh, I download also very close to news. Five minute only. Uh, then I upgrade uh, the latest one. So I will save it on my desktop. Let's double click it. Yes. At first, it's uninstall the previous version and then reinstall it, the latest version. I see. As like previous, click next, next. No.
uh, its meaning of TNS3 means uh, graphical network simulator. In the meantime, our GNS3 uh, PM already download. So now I'm able to use uh, the latest one. So installation is very simple, but configuration is quite complex so you have to do it very carefully either your device will not work because uh, the installation installation is not only the single part after finish the installation, you have to configure it and you have to manually add the different type of device. The devices was not uh, added automatically. So you have to add it manually like Cisco, Juniper and other thing. So you have to collect that uh, the simulation software and run it uh, under the GNS3. So you are lucky because I will give you all the software, but I have to, I had to collect it from different source uh, to work about it. So I, I will give you the uh, link of Google Drive. You just download and they are, uh, available cisco cisco software juniper software microtech software protegate software you just download it and configure in your gns3 and really use it so the installation is done no oh. ah don't need to start it now uncheck it and click finish so now i have to unzip Okay. So after extract, you found uh, the gns 3 bmova So you have to import in 
भीमर पार्क स्टेशन तो फ्रॉम द भीमर पार्क स्टेशन क्लिक ऑन फाइल एंड क्लिक ऑन ओपन गो टू डेस्कटॉप एंड यू फाउंड द टीएनएस थ्री भीम डॉट ओबीए तो यू हैव टू ओपन इट and you have to put a name here so i keep name gnstd hyphen vm hyphen pstu because uh, later on i have to use it in a gns3 software and this is the default location uh, for save this virtual machine and click on import so it's took some time uh to import uh this OBA file uh into a virtual machine Looks Let's create a virtual machine name genus 3 bm psgu uh, with the configuration a single core cpu and only two gigabit of ram so we will change it uh, from genus 3 software not from here so every change are uh, made for this vm uh, by the genus 3 application so now I am going to start uh, the DNS3 application. Okay. So for the first time, when you start uh, this setup wizard uh, will come up, if you take, don't show it again. And check run application in a virtual machine and click on next. Uh, nothing need to change here. Just click next. Next. So from this menu, uh, you have to select your virtual machine. At first, click on VMware. Uh, this is actually recommended. And uh, we already uh, import uh, the DNS3 virtual machine in the VMware workstation. So from here, you may found the virtual machine. Click on this virtual machine, DNS3 VM PSTU. Increase the number of CPU because I will going to run multiple devices, multiple number of router. So set at least four CPU and four gigabit of RAM. And click on next. So now uh, this DNS3 virtual machine run automatically. So I have to wait until it's powering up. It's started. And now click on finish. look into this section there is actually the local host on my laptop the security utilization is 30% uh, around and memory utilization around 50% so 
um, this is the statistic for the GNS3 VM. The CPU utilization 1% and memory utilization around 10%. So now the GNS3 is ready, but we found no devices. So there is only a half a Ethernet switch. So no Cisco router, no Juniper router. So you have to manually add it. After that, you are able to use that devices. So to add that devices, you need the ISO. I have it other side. So genus three is in this folder. I have all the images, but this is maybe on the cloud. I will uh, share uh, this link with you. And I need one thing from my local. Yeah. Okay, I found yet. This is the path. So at first I create a Cisco device. So install an application from the GNS3 server, click next. And from the routers category, you found Cisco different model. So I have image for Cisco 7200 series. Click on install and install the appliances on the GNS3 VM. But the version exactly not matched. I have I have Cisco one five two four but in here the version is one two four so that's why i have to create a new version and put the version name i found it from uh, this part before the file extension this file extension is dot images So copy from that and paste here, click on OK. After that, copy the full name with the file extension and paste here and click OK. So right now, this is the mass version I have. So I have to import that image. Copy the path from here, paste the path, and click the images and upload it. Okay, and then click next. Select it, next, click yes, finish. Looks a new devices added here.
right click on the device and click on the configure template uh, from the name part you may delete the remaining part keep only cisco 7200 and click on the slot and change it to cisco io gigabit ethernet PAG. so core interface is good enough for me and then click ok so now you are able to add the cisco router and to add it you have to create a project i give the name est version 12 now i am able to this uh, add the devices so after add the device this is only for the cisco cisco router and cisco device so if right now the cp utilization is less than one percent and memory utilization around 12 percent so just power on this device looks the cp utilization jump to the 25 percent so if i add five cisco router then cp will be cash because stoops uh, more cpu uh, power uh, than uh, as usual so to decrease the cpu power i have to do one thing So from the console, we show the device successfully up. Uh, this is the Cisco router. Lot of font size. Yeah. this session and looks the router is up and running but with more cpu uh, more cpu power so to reduce the cpu power uh, right click on the device and click on the auto idle pc so it will take some time but after successfully configure the idle pc the cpu utilization goes down again close to one percent looks now cpu utilization is less than one percent and if i add more cisco router i add three cisco router and ethernet one ethernet switch connect them and 
start all the routers. So currently three router is running with uh, the CPU utilization only. So it hit some higher CPU utilization when it is starting, but after that, so three router is running with only 3% CPU utilization. This is router one, router two, and router three. Now I add another devices, another window device like Juniper. The so same, add new template. Click on next from the router. Click Juniper DMX VCP. Uh, this is this version actually I have the images. Click on install, next, next. So it has many version, but no version actually mess. I have the images. So now I go to Cisco ISS to BMX. This version actually I have. So copy the version name and click anyone and click on next, uh, create a new version, put the name of the version. Now you have to put the, sorry, uh, maybe I, I click the wrong one is it because this file extension not messing is look for gmdk but i have cow2 version I cancel it so i have to select kvm1 Put the version name. So now mess with my file extension. Okay. DMX HTT extension. And finally, metadata. USB. I told it uh, the configuration is quite complex. So, where is my version? This one. So, I have to import one by one. First, I uh, import uh, to to file. So from the system is go to Juniper, upload it. It's importing.
okay successfully uploaded then i import emx http this one and finally the metadata now it's ready to install maybe a config with this because i also add this so i have to do it again because so accidentally i uh, add uh, another another version that that one i uh, not imported any emails again select pmx pct that was my fault actually okay so select any kvm version at that time i select esxi version that was problem pick the version number copy copy the full file name copy dmx sdt full file name and finally for the usb So right now only one version created, but previously it was two version. So again, I import all the file first. Image file. Get on in HDD. Yes. Then now it is ready to install. Click on yes um look this instruction initial username is root with no password so it's required actually when you uh powering up this device we need uh, the username password and username password actually give in this case look save uh click right button and configure template Select the remaining name. Just put a uh, Juniper Gmx and click on network. Uh, right now it has only two adapter, so I increase it to eight adapter. 
and click OK. So now I am able to add a Juniper router here. I'm able to connect with the Ethernet tools. So please use uh, for the Juniper router uh, at least number two interface from the number two interface and power on this router. This will take more CPU power as well as Cisco. But there is no option to reduce the CPU utilization until uh, by itself because uh, there is no value for ideal PC and it will take at least uh, five minutes to booting up. So in the meantime, uh, I'll add another device. Yes. Now I'm going to add a micro tick router. So from the router category, micro tick is another option to search. So I uh, I will add micro tick CSR. Click on next, next, next. So as like before, we have to create the microtech version. I have so I have this version. Six point four seven point seven. So create a new version, click the version name. And put the full image name. Import. So click next, click yes. And look at this space, the username is admin, um, no password, empty password, click finish. So same as previous, my critique, 6.47. And click on network tab uh, in case the number of interface to eight. So now I am able to add a microtech router. Power up this device. Console. So Juniper already up. Put password, user and password. So now connect with outside device. I delete one Cisco router. Oh, sorry.
so all devices and up and running so to connect to it outside of the gms lab i have to run a cloud cloud interface that is actually uh, the gateway to connect with the GNS3 devices with the outside outside devices. So connect with it is zero port to gigabit. Now go to console for router one. Interface connect with sorry. click on this to see the interface name. So it's connected with gigabit interface. Interface with with zero by zero. IP is Okay, yeah. manually configure the IP address to check IP address nine two one sixty eight twenty dot five 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 dot zero. Okay, I I getting ping uh, from my host to that router because my network configuration is working fine. So I just put the IP address uh, for this interface. Who take a note every time. Here I use the network one nine two one sixty eight twenty dot one twenty five. Peter 
I put the network name here. Zero slash twenty four. Twenty dot one twenty five. Um, this is actually a Swiss network. That's why to complete a single network. So I create a network or use these serious devices like forty dot zero. Dot one dot two And if I want to create another path like this router to this router, Then I need to create any another two network. One network. Or here. Sixty. Another network for here. Seventy. Seventy dot two. Oh. 
So this is I, IP plan. Uh, tomorrow I will show you uh, in details how to uh, do a IP plan for a full network. This is 60.2. So I just configured one port 20.125. So I have to configure another port. In the case. Within interface, we have a different one by zero. I see at this one nine two one six eight forty dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Okay, uh, it's required some time to configure all. Is but I need a, another server to install uh, network documentation tools and network configuration tools, configuration management, I think, configuration backup, restore tools. So I need another server. So I want to start installation in the meantime. Uh, after, uh, in the meantime of the configuration, the server uh, installation will be done. So to do that, I need a CentOS 7 server or CentOS 7 equivalent server. To do that, I open. I have already installed a CentOS 7, but I, I want to show you the process how to install. That's why I delete it first. And from the file, click on new virtual machine. Click custom, click next. Check on I will install the operating system later and click next. Select Linux and the version center 764 bit. Give a name center 764 bit. Click on next. Select number of CPU. Uh, it's based on uh, capacity of your laptop or desktop. In my cases, I have eight virtual CPU and 40 gigabyte of RAM. That's why uh, four CPU, uh, assigned four CPU good enough for me. And it's also supported by my laptop. And in the RAM, I select eight gigabyte of RAM for this virtual machine. Uh, for the faster installation, I click on next, 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 next. Uh, in that tab, uh, click store uh, the TX as a single file and select the storage 20 to 30 GB. Is 30 GB is good enough for this lab. Click next, next, and uh, click the customize hardware. Select CD DVD. Check on ISO and browse. Uh, in my case, it's saving e dive. It's the ISO folder and the center seven, center seven ISO. Click on close and finish. So a new center seven virtual machine created are on this virtual machine and start to install the center seven. So click on the black window. Um, Use the keyboard up arrow and down arrow. By the up arrow, select install center seven and press enter.
Oke, okay. kita default. Klik on continue. Click on the network and check this on. Done. And click the installation destination. So automatically configure partition is okay. Click on done. Date and time. Select Asia Dhaka. You also select at first Asia and then Dhaka from this menu. And click on the software selection. By default, you select the minimum installation. I just have to click uh, debugging tools, compatibility library, development tools, security tools, and system administration tools. Click down. and click on the begin installation and i have to set the root password okay so tomorrow i use uh, the server to install uh, network documentation tools and configuration tools now we go to the network configuration network lab So finally, by default, all the port manually shut down. So I have to give a uh, no shutdown command. Then interface will go up, exit, okay. write the changes. and show the status so ip interface script this is the command how to show the cisco interface ip so it's configured 4.1 so now i will configure the router to this router to configure terminal so i put ip address 192.168.40.2 in uh, gigabit uh, gigabit interface 0 by 0 interface gigabit ethernet 0 by 0 IP address 192.168.40.2 netmarks 255.255.255.0 255 so no shot exit interface Gigabit Ethernet 1 by 0 IP address 192.168.70.1 Networks 255.255.255.0 no shot Cheat. Cheat. right change the configuration show ip interface Cheat. so two ip is configured check with ping
dot one. Okay, stating thing from router one. Uh, router three is still not configured. The router router seventy dot two. So now I'm going to configure Juniper router. Interface is up. So I have to put this command and report that. I have to set password actually because right now uh, there is no password configured in Juniper router. to do that from CLI I have to pass the edit CLI configure mode edit system Uh, do authentication, plain text password, pass a password, and then comment. Okay, comment down. Let's check with people. Check. Put this out there.
please take some time in the meantime uh, configure the mycotic worm this is mycotic router login name admin with no password no So to see the IP address, command IP address print. So right now no IP uh, added. So uh, at first I added a uh, address space. One nine two. One nine six eight. Forty. dot forty dot four dot four forty dot four slash twenty four interface interface is either one A good thing right now one IP address added and I want to check ping from router one sorry from router two two dot four so now I'm getting ping from router two to router four I have to add another interface ether2 IP address 60.1. So In okay. Now check the router coming up. Password. Yes, password is working. Go to CLI and configure. So keep for SN IP address. EM2 IP address 40.3, EM3 IP address 70.2, and EM4 IP address 60.2. So EM2 actually 192, 40.2, EM3 is 70.2. And M four sixty dot two. Sixty dot two. So the configure I said by the address. So I configured IP address all three interface and do a commit.
received through interface. So all three IP successfully configured and I will check from router one into 70.2. So I get ping from 70.2 and 40.3 from the router 2. Sorry, I mistakenly configured 40.2. Right now it's okay. So from router two, I'll get ping from this interface seventy dot two and forty dot three. And now I check from microtik in sixty dot two and forty dot three. So ping. ping. One nine two one six eight forty dot three. Okay, I'm getting ping from forty dot three and sixty dot two. But I'm not able to ping from seventy dot two. And seventy dot one. So, do you have any idea why I'm not getting ping from seventy dot two and seventy dot one from the router port? Anyone? Uh, did you get my question? I have a question to you. Uh, maybe someone answered. Yes, I did not complete configuration, but which configuration? I have done all the interface IP address configuration, but I am not getting ping from the router port to the router two interface gigabit uh, Ethernet one by zero and router three. Anyone? Which part I did not complete? That's why I'm not getting ping from the all interface. Yes, I did not configure any route, dynamic or static. So this is the remaining part. Uh, it's required only five to 10 minutes. So. When tomorrow I will start, I will configure the routing protocol and start uh, the configuration lab because uh, today I finished. Uh, maybe in the meantime, uh, my server installation also done. Yes.
so tomorrow at first we configure uh, the routing in the gns3 lab and then we start configuration uh, network documentation tools and network configuration management tools any question So I will send you the software link uh, in the time of the session, tomorrow session in the chat box. And I also send you to PSQ uh, administration uh, to share with you for the software uh, link and configuration document as well as. So if you don't have any question uh, then uh, today's session is finished here okay so, dear participant do you have any question related to today's session so actually uh, routing configuration is not so much complex uh, the complex part is adding device in gns3 and i showed you step by step if you follow the recorded video and uh, i'll give you the document as well as the software images so you may create your own lab and test anything uh, you learn from this webinar session from one to last one I think uh, no no more question. Okay, Mehdi, thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, you. So Faisal, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I am hearing you. I am hearing okay, you. Okay, you can, you can just share the question, assessment form. Okay, thank you, sir. I am sharing it now. Okay, sir. I am leaving now and thank you all okay. for your active participation. Okay, okay. please share your uh, slide and other. Oh, yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. By, by tonight, I will share everything.